Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This is an explainer tutorial. I saw this little short from, I don't know how you pronounce it, Ladalidi, Ladalidi. Um, I'll put the link to the channel and the video. And it sort of flies through how to do this floral pattern in about a minute. Um, there's just music in the background, there's no explainer. And it's easy enough to follow until sort of this bit where he starts to like fly through and like connect all these bits with the shape builder tool and I was like whoa so I wanted to give it a go and probably just talk you through the process myself um, but like I say I don't want to be accused of copying I just want to I saw this I liked it I want to explain it to you so you guys can do it as well I'm going to do it slightly differently to the way he's done it here hopefully a little bit easier but we'll see so I'm going to let's get cracking we'll go into my artboard if you want to follow along it's 1920 pixels by 1080 pixels wide this is the shape that we're going to create so I'm going to shift that to one side now he starts with a couple of circles at the start to create an oval I'm literally just going to use the ellipse tool and create a, an oval like about that big so if you then press the pen tool which is P you can hold down alt see it till you see that sort of upturned triangle or arrow and just click that one and click that one I want to make it a stroke as well so I've got a white fill at the minute so just grab your, your fill and drag it onto your stroke and then select none and we're working on a stroke weight of about one pixel so let's make it a little bit thinner 0.5 so it's gonna be really fine now mm, want it to be about there that's fine okay so we go up to he flies up to uh, effects and distort and transform transform and when we're in here he uses the or I say he they they use 30 degrees angle we want the um, anchor point to be down at the bottom and copies 11 let's click OK now you can actually edit this and if you want to just make floral patterns then it's quite cool to just mess around with this so we need something that gets to about there now from here we want to expand it because at the minute it's just an effect on a shape so go up to object and expand appearance it's still a um, stroke but we're going to leave that for now so then they go up to objects path offset path and it's 11 pixels mitre and four so those are the ones you want click ok now from here, select with V, select both, and go up to Object, Expand, uh, Fill and Stroke, click OK. So now, now we need to make our shapes. Rather than trying to deduct these ones like round into this sort of mess in the middle, if you just go to the Shape Builder tool, Shift and M, and then just like click these big ones, because we need those, so we'll just go around and click those. Oh, missed that one. And then you want to do this these shapes one, two, three, and into this point. So it's literally just click and drag it into that point. Let it work that out. Click, drag into the point, click, drag into the point. Uh, just go around and do this. Click that one. Okay, so that's got our, our shape. If I just jump to this and press play, then when he zooms out at the end, he's got this, oh, we have to go back to there. He's got this outline here. But if you look, it's not quite right. There's like a little jump in it. And that's because these shapes that he's used hasn't been uh, joined together. So I'm gonna get around that. I'm gonna press A, which is direct select, and just select these shapes. So holding shift just go around and click one all the way around click these ones and then the inner ones and just press command c uh, and that's just copied it okay so that's stored in our, our saved bits now select everything 
and you want your uh, Pathfinder. If you can't see it, just go up to Windows. If you want to press pause and copy my setup, then go for it. But we want Pathfinder. And then in Pathfinder, you press uh, Divide. And what that's done is chop all these shapes up. If I press Direct Select, you can see it's now chopped them up. Okay. So before they were like all, all interlinked or overlapping rather. And now they're chopped up. Now the problem is we want this little square. We want this bit, this bit, and this bit. That's what you want to join together. Otherwise, if you just do what they did, you're going to end up with this odd like join. So I was trying to figure out the quickest way to do it. And what I can gather is if you select everything, just going to zoom in for this bit, use the shape builder again, but use minus. So you hold alt and then drag just into these two. Okay, so now we've got the bits that we want to keep, that outside line. So if you just press direct select, click off there, and just like select a chunk of this stuff and, and delete it out of the way. So we want to get rid of of everything basically that apart from the outside line, it takes a couple of seconds just to Okay, so now we've got this, select it all with a and we're going to go back to Pathfinder and unite. So now it's all one shape. It's a bit light, so we can bump up the stroke on it, drag that fill over to the stroke, maybe do it to about two pixels. Yeah. Object expand. Okay. Back to Pathfinder unite. And remember we've got that those shapes saved. So uh, command shift and V paste in place. And that is how you do it. So thank you to Lada Ladi uh, for this inspiration. I hope that was helpful. Um, please like and subscribe and go and check out their channel. And I'll see you again next time.